conclusion I reach as should be apparent on the first limb of this ground is that the President, as a matter of fact, commenced and spearheaded the process from its inception and only passed on the baton to the two co-chairpersons when it was too late in the day and beyond recall that the President is ineligible to directly or indirectly initiate a constitutional amendment to the Constitution under any of the prescribed circumstances. That he cannot act as an, an ordinary citizen because he is not, and at the same time claim to be exercising executive authority. He cannot, in the circumstances of Chapter 16, run with the hare and hunt with the hound. It has been argued that by barring the President from initiating the process of constitutional amendment, his right to equality and freedom from discrimination would be violated. The nature of violation has not been demonstrated. Looking at the facets of the rights under fun, under fun, and fundamental freedoms under Article 27, I cannot see any that could be breached by simply asking the President to stay on his lane of constitutional amendment process. Similarly, the guarantee of his political rights, which are specific under Article 38.1, that is to make political choices, to be registered as a voter, and to vote by secret ballot in any election or referenda, have not been violated. The President's role in the constitutional review process has been preserved and is intact. The power to assent to a draft bill passed by Parliament and to request the IEBC to conduct a national referendum for approval of the bill are indispensable, are indispensable roles and essential cogs in the process. Apart from this, the President, as indeed any other voter, is entitled to support a popular initiative by signing it, and in fact, he did so in public. Indeed, nothing stops the President from campaigning for or against the initiative. For these reasons, I agree with the learned justices that to the extent that the President took certain steps and actions at the inception of the popular initiative process, as explained, the entire process was irredeemably flawed. I would, in the result, affirm the conclusion of the Court of Appeal.